is Mike. Welcome to another video of the series Myco Pro Tips. This video deals with aspect ratio. GoPro offers the option of one of two different aspect ratios, 16-9 or 4-3. So what's the difference and why would you choose one or the other? If we have a look at two examples, let's look at 1080 as a resolution you'll see that it's a 16-9 aspect ratio. That's the ratio of the width to the height. Uh, these are the number of pixels that you are capturing. 1920 width, 1080 height. If we now look at 1440, which is described as a 4-3 aspect ratio, that too is 1920 wide. But it's now 1440 high, the ratio of those two figures being 4-3. So here's an example of how that translates. On the left hand side, we have a still from a video using 1080 as a resolution, and that's a 16-9 aspect ratio. Taken from exactly the same position, this is a still from a video uh, 1440 resolution, which is a 4-3 aspect ratio. And straight away, you can see that the 16-9 aspect ratio is the familiar widescreen format. The 4-3 aspect ratio uh, is somewhat squarer. The 4-3 aspect ratio contains more detail, top to bottom. You can see the top of the garage is in scope here, and there's more foreground compared to the 16-9 aspect ratio. Remember that these two have the same width, 1920. And indeed the detail is virtually the same on the left and the right of each of these two pictures. In fact, slightly more width on the 4-3 aspect ratio. You can see that there's a chimney here, which is missing here. And that's probably because there's less cropping on the 4-3 aspect ratio by GoPro due to its stabilization technique than there is on the 16-9 aspect ratio. So straight away we have two benefits of using 4.3 compared to 16.9. More detail captured within the frame and we're actually using a higher resolution. Ah, but I hear you say we will get black bars on the side of the screen if we display this on an HDTV. And if you use the raw footage then that is absolutely right. If however we're creating a video, which means that the raw footage will be edited, there is the opportunity to convert this 4-3 aspect ratio into 16-9, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But consider for a moment if you were using a head cam, so your GoPro is mounted on a helmet for windsurfing or for mountain biking or for skiing, you'll know that getting the angle of the camera on your helmet correct is quite difficult. With the 4-3 aspect ratio there's far less risk of missing whatever action it is you're trying to capture because you have this very tall frame compared to the 16-9 aspect ratio. Now for creating a video in an editing suite there is the opportunity to convert this 4-3 aspect ratio to 16-9. And the most professional way to do that is to crop 4.3 into a 16.9 widescreen format. Okay, so if you're making a video from your GoPro clips and you want to avoid the black bars that would appear if it was a 4.3 format of the video, how do you do it? I'm going to cover this in much more detail in a later video, but meanwhile, just to show you the simplicity of the process, all I have to do here in order to convert this into 16.9, that is widescreen, and here we now have a full screen, no black bars, but it's clipped, and this is where the clipping has taken place, and at this point you might say, well, there was little point in using the 4-3 aspect ratio in the first place because now I've lost that extra detail. Well, no, you haven't because it's still in the frame. 
if I move the frame up, for example, you can see now that I've got all of the detail at the top of the garage, full window, or the detail I wanted to capture may have actually been at the base of the frame. So I can move it down. And I can do that wherever I wish throughout the duration of the video. So if this was head cam video and you found that you had missed out videoing the board at the bottom, for example, so you had very little context, you only had scenery, you could move the frame down uh, and then you'd have captured exactly what you wanted to see in your video. So in summary, if you choose a 4-3 aspect ratio, you will capture more detail, you're using a higher resolution, you're also following GoPro guidelines as to the best format to use for action footage and in fact their top recommendation is 1440 if you look at their manual. For the last two years I've had a Hero 5 session and the setting that I've primarily used for the windsurfing videos on this channel in that time has been 1440 at 50. So I hope you found this video useful and you try 4.3. Enjoy videoing with your GoPro. Bye for now.